mother, there's something he mun do. But I'll say first, tell he mun look his eyes, they be mun too. Are you my servant? Well then, Mary Lennox, my name is Martha, and now that I'll make the bed. Aren't you going to dress me first? Can I have a dress to sell then? In India, my ayah dressed me. Well then, I'll do thou good to wait on thy celibate. Tis a fair wonder grand folks' children don't turn out fair fools being washed and cut off like they was puppies. What is that language you speak? Well, of course, you're not only in Yorkshire living in India, have you? Mrs. Medlock told me I'd have to be careful or you won't understand what I was saying. But I didn't know what to expect from you either. When I heard he was coming from Bombay, I thought you'd be a solid brown, I did. But you're not brown at all. More yellow, I'd say. Hey, now, lassie, I didn't know you'd be so easy of it. I'll let you on with your clothes this time if you like. You just pretend you're back in India and I'm your servant and you just give me that little yellow foot. I'm quite all right, thank you. Look there, out the window. It's the moor it is. Like a dull purple sea this morning. You like it? I hate it. You wait till spring then. The moor is fair, covered in gorse and heather. There's such an old fresh air. My brother Dickon goes off and plays in the moors for hours. He's got a pony, he's made friends with them, and birds and sheep and such eats right out of his hand. These are not my clothes. I, I must remember. These he... are nicer than mine. You get these new clothes on then and wrap up one and one out and play. That'll give you stomach for your porridge. Mrs. Medlock told me there's nothing out there but a big old park. Well, maybe we're going to try to come out there. Maybe I'll give you a ride on this pony. Maybe I he'll... don't know anything about boys. If I had a fine white horse, I'd take you for a ride today. But since I have no fine white horse inside, I'll have to stay. And empty all the chamber pots and scrub the floors and such. But what's there to do on a fine white horse? It seems to me not much. I'd take your first sail today, but since I have no good and boat inside, I'll have to stay and catch and kill the mice and pluck the chickens for the cook. But what's there to do on a wooden boat? But sit up straight and look, then worry our boat would start to drift and float us out to sea and land us on an isle of gold. Garden, garden, by a tree, and meet a 